Welcome traders to this educational video of Nifty Analysis, episode number 30. Currently, we are looking on the monthly time frame of Nifty Spot. What is clearly visible that price is in an uptrend. Price is trading above the 50 week, sorry, 50 month simple moving average. RSI is also trending pretty nicely. But today is the end of this particular month. Today is 31st August, correct? So what we can see on this particular candle is the wick of this candle is slightly bigger in comparison to the lower wick. So it looks like an inverted hammer, uh, but it is not. It looks like an inverted hammer, but it is not. But it surely signifies that, that there is some sort of selling pressure at higher levels. Let us go to a lower time frame, which is the weekly time frame. Now, we should not forget that today is Monday. It's the beginning of the week. So the candle which is present over here is not valid. But still, as of now, after today's close, what I can see is a negative candle. This two days candle formation is a sort of buying climax formation. We absolutely have no idea what will be the price till Friday's close. But as of now, what I can see, there is some sort of selling pressure coming at higher levels. Let us go to the daily time frame. The maximum amount of data which I could see was in the daily time frame. The first thing which striked to me was that the price is still in an uptrend because prices are still trading about the 50 day simple moving average. But if you see the prices very, very carefully, then I will convert this price into a from candlestick chart to a line chart, if you see carefully, then there were negative divergences which were continuously being formed since last few days. You can see this one and even this one. This is a lower uh, low in RSI, sorry, lower high in RSI, and we have a higher high in RSI. So there were two different negative divergences between the price and the RSI. And this was a sign that the trend is still up, no doubt about that. But the momentum is getting weaker and weaker in the short term, not the uh, weekly time frame or the monthly time frame. But in the daily time frame, yes, it was getting slightly weaker, but the trend was still up. Now, apart from this, we were at a shorter term resistance. If I bring in this Fibonacci extension, then uh, for this small down move, we had already extended by the first target, which is the 161.80% extension in Fibonacci. So we were at a resistance. Plus, we can see today we have gone through a trend line breakdown. Now, friends, the million dollar question is, has Nifty topped out? Has this entire trend topped out? And are we going to go down? Very, very frankly, we should be first of all sane in our minds because today's move is just not a down move. It has come on the back of a lot of volatility. So first thing as a trader, what I would do is I would wait patiently for the volatility to cool down. That is the first thing which I would like to do. I will not initiate new trades if volatility continues to be very, very high in the next few days. All right. First, I would like the volatility to cool down. Second thing is where are the supports? Fine. So if you can see properly, then these are the two different highs. This is the first this is the second high and price is already trading at that particular level. And we are at a 50% Fibonacci retracement. So we are at a very good support level. All right. Now, if we break below this level, 11,380, possibly we could even hit 11,227 or something like that. All right. But till this particular level, if we break, today is low then then we could expect some sort of selling pressure which we uh, which the market could go near 11,230 11,220 but serious sort of selling pressure in short term again I'm using the word short term I'm not talking about a very big correction of market right now until and unless we see something majorly changing on weekly or monthly charts because daily charts are for shorter term not for extremely long term don't forget that so if we break below 11,200 or 11,230 on closing basis and the selling pressure continues, 
then there is a fair chance that we could go and hit around 11,090 or even 11,000 levels. All right. Now, more than the levels, <clears throat> normally people ask me, sir, what are the levels where Nifty will stop or where will Nifty go? Rather than that, as I repeated in today's educational video, that the first thing a trader should not forget that the volatility, which has uh, been seen today, was extremely high. The uh, first signal that the selling will stop is the volatility will come down. So do not forget about that. Uh, manage your risk in your trading account rather than trying to you know predict what's going to happen ahead so take care stay safe and trade wisely thank you